In this video, I'm going to show you how to combine the filter function with the by column and by row function. I did an earlier video on by column and by row. It is good you watch it because it provides you with the basics before you come to watch this one because this is a more advanced video as we combine two and more functions. So what do we want to do? We have the same data set of students and their scores in the different subjects. And our objective is to filter out subjects where any one of the scores is eight, more than 80. For example, if I look at mathematics, there's an 87 there. As long as one of these is more than 80, we want to filter out the subject. In this case here, we don't have, in this case, we have three items. So we filter out science. And in this case, we don't have, so we don't filter out. So for us to know whether to filter out or not filter out, we need to first count how many are they. Occurrences of more than 80. And to do that, we use the by call function which takes the range this is our range comma lambda function which is a user defined function so this is a comma then a user defined function and i'm going to define my variable as max max so what max represents here is one of these columns this whole column is maps so i'm going to loop through so it is going to go one column at a time so as it loops through one column at a time when it is in here i want to count if i'm counting based on a condition so my range will be this one here which is called max comma and I want to count all values that are greater than 80. Close my brackets, close that, hit enter. I get an error because there's a C here. So when I do that, I get my count correct here. Now, my objective is not to get the count. My objective is to get the subjects where the count is more than zero. So to do that, I need to use the filter function and I filter out values based on a condition where the count is more than zero. So I'll, let me copy, this one returns to me the count and it is on this count where I'm going to apply the condition. So for the subjects, I'm going to say filter and for the filter, the way it works, specify the row that you want to return, comma, and the condition. This expression here, as you saw, gives me the count. So the condition is where the count, which I get from the expression, is more than zero, then close brackets. When I do that, you can see where I have a count of one, it gives me math, zero gives me nothing, and where I have a count of three gives me Yes. So if I change this one to 40, you can see all subjects are returned because there are figures greater than 40 in each of those subjects. So that is how we get the subjects. So you can say how do we get the students where any one of the subjects have scored more than 80. So to do that, I'm going to use the by column. Now I'm using by row because I'm going to run through row by row and my array will be that, my lambda, my user defined function. Now each of these rows represent row max. And for each of those max, I need to count, I need to do a count if 
of those marks and on condition that the value is greater than 80 that I place here. Close the count if, close the lambda, close the rob by row, and you get this. So you'll observe that in the first row there is zero, meaning that no student got and didn't get anything above 80. Here I have one, meaning that there's one subject in which this student got above 80, which is this math at 87. If I change this one to 81, you can see it changes to two, like so. So let's put back to 70. Now I want to filter based on a condition. And my condition is gonna be if the count is greater than zero. Because we see that if the count is zero, then that student didn't score. But as long as it is greater than zero, where there's one, two, and the rest, then that score is more than, there's a figure more than 80. So to do that, this one here is going to return my count. Then I'll come here and say filter, what I will want is this, and my condition is the count, which is returned from this expression, needs to be greater than zero. Close that, hit enter. You can see now it is telling me B, C, D, E are the students for which they have at least one score in more than 80. So you may not want it in this format, you may want it in the row, if you want it in a row, no problem. All you have to do is close it in the transpose function, which will turn the column into a row. So the moment I change this to maybe 30, you see all the subjects and all the students are returned. When I change it to 70, I get four students at all the subjects. So it is very dynamic, as you can see. For example, now student A has no value above 80, but I make this one 81, you're going to see that the student is gonna to appear here. So you can see A appears because now he has 81 as shown above. Thank you for watching. Thank you for watching. Subscribe and see you in the next video.